Oh my God, I look like an old lady. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Justine's not going to be here. Um, I don't know about Corey. We'll just go for it and start. So, did you guys all watch the video? Uh, yes. Oh, wait, Paula. Wait, I'm going to wait one second because she was going to call right back. I'm going to turn off the recording. Okay. All right. I turned the recording on. Did you, Paula, I can't see you. Did you, he, did you listen to the video today? Yeah. Everybody else? If you, if you yes. listen, you heard it. Sweet. So, how are you feeling about it? Dun, dun, dun. Are you kind of freaking I, out? Are you I, excited? A little of both? Uh, I'm ready. I don't have any problem with sugar. All I'm right. good there. I just have a lot of stuff to get rid of. <laughs> I have serious problems with sugar, and I can't wait to have it in my life. All right. Uh, so you guys all listen to the video. So you you like this is why Eric is he didn't he didn't go into really why. Um, he kept fruit, but one of the reasons is really increasing your fruit intake if you can. Um, yeah, that's hard. Because you're going to get, it's, it's almost like, like fruit is, fruit is to sugar is what like methadone is to heroin, kind of. It, it, <laughs> it kind of is, really, you know, it's, <laughs> It, it eases you off of it, you know? You're not gonna have, and now that you have all of this nutrition, your your withdrawal symptoms, you may have some, if especially if you had a lot of sugar, but it's they're gonna be greatly reduced already. Plus you're taking in so much sugar with the fruit, it's, it's weaning you off all this sugar that you're highly addicted to, so. Don't freak out that we're taking the sugar out. It is, and I know it's, I mean, yes, you, you are going to have to be really conscious of all of the labels. And the, I sent you a huge list, but still read the labels. And if you're not sure, I mean, they, sugar comes under the craziest names. Just Google it right there. You know, I realized right. at about six o'clock today, half an hour ago, Oh my God, this and taking processed sugar out changed everything because I looked in my cover today and even my artichoke hearts have two grams of sugar. It's ridiculous. It's crazy yeah. when you start looking, literally everything has sugar. And I mean, the food industry is brilliant because as soon as you eat sugar, you're going to want to eat more food and sugars and everything. And now all of us are highly addicted to it. It's also as a preservative. Yes. So but, was sugar was sugar added to the artichokes, or is that natural sugar? No, it was added because the ingredients is artichoke hearts, water, and sugar. Yeah. So if it says in the ingredients, wow. that's where it would. I mean, yes, in you know, up above where it says all the nutritional stuff, there are natural sugars and things. But if it's in the ingredients, that's sugar. It hides under so many different names. And yeah. I, everybody in. Let me look at that again. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure it was in the ingredients. But I, I'll look. I wouldn't doubt it, honestly. I mean. Well, it's, it's a preservative, so that I might mean, be why. It's in, it's in even like. Um, like Eat I had, turkey. I had just yeah beef jerky for sure. I had just I had to start pecking my like organic fruit like dried fruit because I realized there's freaking sugar in a lot of it and you think that it's just yeah. natural organic fruit but it's not it's sugared fruit. I just made I mean, a in, rice cauliflower stir fry and I checked the ingredients and there was sugar in it. So it's yeah. rice cauliflower peas peppers corn. Something else, there's sugar in there, and I was like, oh, all right, well, I'll eat that this weekend and be done with it. And that was Trader Joe's raised cauliflower. Right. Really? Yeah. 
Yeah. Wait, was it the riced cauliflower that's frozen as a as a as a mixture, or was it just there because they have a rice cauliflower in their veg vegetable section that's just crumbled up cauliflower? No, it wasn't because I'm not a huge cauliflower fan. So I got the stir fry mm. one, and I guess there's somewhat of a ginger sauce which you can't mix yeah, it at all. Totally. And I think that's where it was at. So I also have a bag of just the grated or whatever the rice cauliflower. Mm -hmm. That I'll probably switch to, but this is kind of my intro. Yeah, you'll have to make it from scratch or whatever. Yourself. Yeah, but no, they're frozen. Yeah. They're frozen rice cauliflower. Right. No sugar, just cauliflower. Oh. Or make it from scratch. Yeah. Yeah. They also have like a yeah stir fry whatever. Sure, the sauce. It's always yeah. the sauce. Which there's like because, hardly any sauce. Right. The sugar also emphasizes the the ginger flavor and the and the and the uh, sesame flavor. That's so, exactly it. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of a drag. Yeah, we'll be making things from scratch. Yeah. Which is fine. And the sugar is overwhelming our taste buds. Our taste buds are off, and we are eating sugar and everything, and the sugar makes us crave more sugar. So we're eating more sugar, and then we're craving more sugar, and our taste buds are just destroyed right now, and getting on the fruit, getting off the sugar, and staying on your alkogizer, and now, you guys, there's no more Eric in, on the devil's side. It's all you. You get to make the choice. So you <laughs> need to use the tools that you learned over the last two weeks and really pay attention. But you're going to be so full, and you the sugar is going to really take care of those. I mean, the fruit's going to take care of those sugar cravings. So. If you can't, that's why the fruit's super important. And it's cleansing all that stuff out. Like on, when, on an empty stomach, are you noticing? It's just flushing mm. through you. I haven't had an empty stomach. I've been yeah. eating like a lot. But in the morning when you wake up. It's still not empty. <laughs> well, it's ready to go. And if you've been eating the, the carbs and grains and... That that's slowing down your digestive. Yeah, it interferes. Oh, oh, you know, it's gonna feel good to flush everything out, and like you're gonna have your alkalizer. You're gonna feel so good. You know, I talked to Justine just before this. Her her mom's really sick. She's taking care of her, but she's scared about the sugar and taking the sugar out. And I don't want you guys to be scared because this whole program is meant to ease you in and all of the tools that you're learning makes it 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 will be easy for you if you just put your head in it and want it so bad that's why the why for me is so important like i'm scared to not take it out actually exactly yeah. and i'm glad you're feeling like that i'm glad that you that you want that it's you know and it's kind of funny his the way he psychologically got you to, to want to take it out. It's like it well, well, there's a, there's a, there's other things that I'd rather take out, like that'll be easier. But because I have diabetes, I have to take it. So I want yeah. it to be like early on. It's yeah. going to be way easier than nicotine or caffeine. So I'm cool. <laughs> and you're gonna be. And I mean, that's part of the whole process. If you end up taking that out, then you'll want to take it out when you're nutritionally full and your body is, it, it, it'll be easy for you because your body's strong and ready to take it out. You know, if that's your goal, then I think that's a great goal. I think it's awesome that you're like, and it is gross. And that, I thank the program for that because I'm grossing out that's awesome it's in your head mm -hmm. so um is everybody feeling good about it are you feeling okay that you're are you andrea paula are you guys scared are you okay i'm i'm comfortable with it i'm very comfortable today today was the first day i felt um thirst um oh. i actually felt it Wow. I recognize that it's thirst. At first, I thought I wanted something to eat, and then I recognized it's thirst. And the other thing is, I wanted salt. That 
Um, I'm not a big sweet person. I think other carbs will be harder, but the sugar in foods, it's in, like when he said about tomato sauce or marinara and all that, I'm aware that there's way too much sugar. Mm -hmm. When you make it yourself, yeah. it tastes, you know, it tastes really different than that yeah. bottled jam stuff. <clears throat> And but, it's, a know, lot easier, it's a lot easier to find a, a can if you have, you know, you're, you know, it's a lot of us don't have time to go get our tomatoes and stew them and make our own from exactly. scratch. But if you want, you could still get an organic can of tomato, like tomato sauce or tomato, just the um, stewed Size. tomatoes. Yeah. And make your own and it's so it's a lot easier to find without all the without all the sugar and you know right if you're getting the pre-made sauce <coughs> spaghetti <coughs> sauce it's gonna more likely have sugar it's almost mm -hmm. impossible to find it without but you can whip it up so fast right it only takes yeah. like a couple more minutes to do it and exactly. it's always way better way more you can make it as garlicky and savory and exactly. delicious. Mm -hmm. And just, and people that aren't cooks, reach out because I know Paula will give you advice for sure. And I'm happy to. And I know Andrea's a great cook. And, you know. Please share, please share, because I'm not a great cook and I'm scared to death about. Okay. I got tons of recipes. It's super cinch. And yeah. get Jet in there. He would have so much fun cooking with you, chopping stuff up and. Like, I, it's, a, it's actually really fun. There are some basic rules, um, Andy, that, that we could go over that's, like, really quick. And okay. I mean, we could even have on our free nights, we could have, like, cooking nights. Somebody can mm -hmm. host a little, a little recipe <laughs> about it. You know, if, I don't know. Or you guys can just share recipes on Facebook is a great thing. But, you know, um, to even... And then if you had any questions or wanted to, Sandy could help you with basic tips of mm -hmm. cooking. Well, Andrew and I have a great minestrone soup I that we make. Say, yeah. And yeah, and we're just going to take the noodles out and make it awesome. Yeah. Yeah, nice. it's like the perfect soup season. It's perfect. Yeah, I'll, I'll be sharing recipes too, for sure. And, um, and you can say come on and say, you know, I'm really thinking I want this. How, how do you think I could make that healthy, you know? Mm -hmm. And then it would be yeah. fun for me too, because I'll be like, oh, I didn't even think of making that. That would be fun to, to make. Let's, you know, and then everybody helping each other out, we'll all get fun new recipes mm -hmm. that we can use. I've already yeah. that's great. Pre working stuff, you know? Obviously not with sugar. I'm predicting some of the things are, are going to come out. So I don't know. I'm just basic diets or, you know, there's a few things that get pulled out. So I'm, I'm right. looking at what I normally make and I'm like, I'm never making that again, or I'm going to do it this way. So, but even, you know, even in, it would be even now when we're just having sugar taken out, it's fun to see things that we can, that we can make but you know, if we're but we don't have to live the deep lifestyle when we pull everything out late later. We don't have to live that all the time. But we'll have recipes that we can have with us in our day to day life that we're sharing with our families and stuff that are still really healthy, but might not have everything that you're thinking might come out. You know? Yeah. Can I say something? There was um, not today's video. I, I'm not sure if it was yesterday, but Eric was saying how you can um, use your money to change things, yeah. right? So, like, so he, was, he was talking about, and I, I totally grasped that, but I, he was talking about the uh, going to like the butcher with the molasses thing. Remember that you guys? Absolutely. So, yeah. Just yesterday. Um, so, and I don't eat a lot of meat, but I do. So they make um, fresh, uh, sausage at my uh at the nugget over here in davis and they'll um and they do chicken and then they'll make it in the bulk without the the pork casing right so anyway, oh, nice. i always and then they'll make like hot italian or mild italian or 
you know, whatever flavors, right? So um, I asked them if they had the hot Italian and they said, and they said they would make the chorizo. And if I call them the night before, they'll make it. And if I ask them if they'll make it in, in the chicken and not with the pork, they'll make whatever kind I want. But I can ask them if they'll leave the sugar out. Oh, sweet. I was going to ask you. Yeah, sure yeah. No sugar. Right, right. So, but in the hot Italian, it didn't, it. Have it didn't have sugar already. So I yeah. said, well, if I ask for some, he goes, just give us 24 hours and we'll make you a couple of little, a little things off to the side and you can come and pick it up. And then Perfect. I'll just, I'll make, I, I can make patties or I make it all crumbly and I'll do it in like cabbage wraps or whatever. And it's like, you can, you can add peppers and Make it you can all. make a little quiche, so in the morning, if you're busy, you can just cut up a little, cut a piece and take it with you, you know? Totally. And you Wrap can it make, up yeah, and have you it can, later after. I call it an egg bake, because you don't have to use, even if we, if you don't right. want to use the quiche actual shell, you can just, part, yeah. yeah, you can just saute all your stuff on the bottom, and then pour your eggs in like you were doing a quiche, and, you know, or just saute your sausage pour it in, stick it in the oven, bake it, and then it, you just take a slice and it's just yeah. like a little scrambled egg I, wedge. Yeah, it's so, it. I do that too. Yeah, it's, totally. Throw some salt. Yeah. Put your cast iron right in and or just a, a casserole pan or whatever. Anyway, that's the, All so right, that, cool. that can happen. You can ask your people we, at the thing if they'll just make it without or whatever i mean it's worth a try just ask what the heck well any <laughs> any recipes that you come up with that you think of please share on facebook great everybody would love them even ideas that you have for the alkajizer or mm -hmm. you know some fun uh fruit medley or something that you put together. Andy got some good yummy sounding fruit and Paula did too. So you guys, are you feeling, so Andy, I know you're freaking out a little bit about sugar, probably. Yeah. Do you feel a little better knowing that the fruit, if you just really increase your intake of fruit? Cause you can just, you know what? You can actually eat fruit until two o'clock if you want and just keep That's what I did today. Eat, yeah. eat fruit if in as much as you want. You know, yeah, Andy, I, if I you ate chop fruit up in, go ahead. I said I ate fruit until about twelve o'clock today. So I had I had pear, I had apple, I had mango, I had um what else did I have? Kiwi and blueberries. And I just kind of kept them out on the counter and just kept going back and getting a little bit more and a little bit more <laughs> <clears throat> excuse me, plus the alkalizer. So up until like 12 o'clock, I did, I did, you know, fruits like that. And I'm going to make like a fruit salad to make it a little more totally contained. Yeah. I didn't plan I had today. I yeah. Make a big one. I did that and I put it in the fridge and then I can just go get a scoop and put it in a cup and then just have, and then when they're all together, it's really sweet and wild and delicious. Yeah. So yeah. then that's already, yeah. You don't have to just have to just have blueberries. And just, yeah. You get to have all the features, you know? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that yeah I have good. cantaloupe and, and pineapple, which my son loves. And so mm -hmm. I already told him, I'm like, I'll make a big old fruit salad that him and I can snack on. And I'm probably going to make it tonight so that in the morning it'll be all. That's nice. perfect. And nice. yeah, and you can just wake up and have nothing to do. You just get to sip on your alkalizer and eat my fruit. fruit. <laughs> it's kind of a treat. I, I love this part of the program, like kind of. You just feel like you, keep, I don't feel guilty at all just eating a ton of fruit in the morning and you just feel so clean and oh, then you'll, I, you are going to start feeling energy. Is anybody starting to feel more energy yet? I am. Yeah. Especially. You're kind of ODing on that, on that alkalizer, right? Sandy, are you still at the high doses? Well, you, I am. But you also have to remember that I've been dehydrated all my life. So I feel a whole different thing happening. It's crazy. Yay. Great. Paula, how are you feeling? I'm not feeling a lot of extra energy, but um, I am sleeping better. Last night was not my best night. I was up at 2.40 and never got back to sleep. But um, 
you know, I wasn't, it wasn't as much pain. It's just the nerve, the shooting nerve pain woke me up and that was it. I wasn't, I wasn't going to back down. I love the fruit and I have a friend who has a lot of citrus right now. So he gave me a bag of um, ruby red grapefruit and a bag of blood oranges. And they're just wonderful. I really love them. So tomorrow he's going to give me the Valencia and I'm going to make my own orange juice. Yummy. Oh, yummy. Yeah. So that's it. Yeah. Um, speaking of juice, really quick, I'm going to interject really fast. That's the only thing, that's the only type of juice that we want you to drink. If you're, I mean, yeah, fresh, well enough, it's yeah. fresh squeeze, like no store-bought, mm. not even at the farmer's market or like, I mean, you fresh that day, fresh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, squeeze it yourself, yeah. And remember how much fruit goes into some juice. So, oh, well, yeah. it doesn't matter. You can drink as, you can have as much as you want, but right now you're still, you're doing as much as you want. So if you're having a problem with the sugar, increase your fruit. If you're yes. craving the sugar. Yeah, I'm, I'm. It'll be easier for me to increase uh, fruit a lot by squeezing my own orange juice. And his tree was so full. It was ridiculous. So he gave me like 20 oranges. So, of course, you know, that's not a whole lot of juice. But it, I'll go through those oranges before the weekend's over. Paula is not going to get scurvy. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I'm so jealous that citrus is my favorite favorite fruit all citrus i'm so jealous grapefruit oh my goodness that's the thing i miss most about california probably is the fruit yeah citrus one of the things things that i look forward to i do is that i take cholesterol medicine now and i just started like six months ago and i can't eat grapefruit because of it and i want off of it i don't want to take and the only way not, I'm on the, I'm like taking half of the lowest dose. It's the only way to get off of it <coughs> is to get certain things out of my diet because I'm right on the edge. When you're a diabetic, if you're like at 110, they're like, oh, that's too high. And so I just, I want to just drop it down naturally so I can decide what I'm going to have. So don't you you probably shouldn't do a lot of fruit juice, Sam, because that takes yeah, you need to I just don't. eat the fruit. Yeah, I, I know you're, you're I in sure. the morning I because we just increased it because I watched the video and I'm like, okay. mm-hmm. um I'm having mm-hmm. half an apple and half of a banana and I take the required and so I'm fine. And I and don't that have- should, I would I would imagine it probably would balance out I'm not a doctor, I don't know, but I would think that taking out all that sugar that's coming hidden in your foods, yeah. getting all yeah. the, being aware of that, taking all that out might counter those, that little bit of extra fruit. You're oh doing. yeah, I have to pay really close attention uh, to my glucose because taking all that stuff out, because I don't even know how much stuff I'm taking in, you know, when I do processed food. So I just have to pay really close attention because I think everything's going to change. Yeah. Yeah. Can you Your control it will... by what yeah. you, do you have to, can you control it by what you eat? Like. No, I have no. type one. So I take a 24 hour insulin and uh, I'm going to have to really watch. I'm actually going to make myself get up in the middle of the night, check my glucose when we really start going with this. And I'm also talking to a woman who's a care manager. Uh, okay. so that so that when those big changes are happening, uh, I should never be eating processed sugar unless I'm in a reaction. And even then now it's hungry. So I should never be eating that stuff anyway. That is bad. But anyway, I'm gonna be followed by somebody. So oh, good. Uh, good. Yeah, no, I'm going to be checking in and checking it myself. Okay. I'm just excited about the grapefruit coming back into my life at some point. So I just want to share that. Mm-hmm. It's it's all worth the grapefruit. I'm, I'm with you. <laughs> I think it's all worth feeling good. 
person. You, absolutely. And I don't have any doubt that you're going to be off those meds in the near future. Yeah, but I think my, I think my <laughs> insulin will get cut in half, personally. I don't take that much. I'm, I don't need much. So it'll be, you know, instead of taking it six times a day, I might only be taking it twice. And I'm, I'm really excited about that. That would be awesome if you could get out to reduce your insulin and I can be your poster yeah. child. <laughs> totally. Yeah. I would do that for you. I mean, Aww. already, right? You could already be my poster child. I, I'm like just blown away by the change in you. Every time I see you every day, it's just like, whoa. I can't believe it. I mean, today I look like a whole two minutes younger. Pretty blown. <laughs> <laughs> but your energy too. I mean, you just seem. I don't know. I I do have more. In fact, I'm kind of hyper, and I don't think my youngest daughter realized that because <laughs> I had diabetes when I was pregnant with her, and I've I've been pretty slow, and I really think she's tripping out. She goes, she didn't even listen to me, mom. Your dialogue's in your head. And I go, I'm having a conversation with <laughs> uh, Anything else? That, Andrea, do you want to share? How are you feeling? How Are you excited to, to go off the sugar? Are you oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm totally excited. I actually um, uh, haven't really um, been doing a lot of sugar until, like, the end of this week. Like, I just ripped in here because I went to the movies and Brian offered like I ate the popcorn I put the, you know salt on it I'm sure there was sugar in the fake butter that I asked you know all that but I just ate like the whole bag and I did take a couple sips of his you know because you just want to wash it down with the soda I'm like is this real soda he goes no it's coke zero and I'm like oh but it tasted like real soda because I haven't had any but then he's like, offers me an M&M &M and I just really didn't want to have it. So I didn't have it. I just didn't feel like it, Good. you know, but I did have the Good. popcorn yesterday. I had all that stuff that I told you about. I had restless leg syndrome, couldn't sleep very good. You know, I just ate a whole bunch of stuff yesterday and I could tell when it was time to, you know, go to the bathroom that there was all this these features that were because i at the, toward the end of the week i'm like okay i'm going to mexican food and i'm having this and i'm having that and i'm you know having a sandwich and like i had a sandwich at 8 30 last night like what fried, well you know um uh, i was inspired by paula with the grilled cheese and so my dad just went home and he left a loaf of sourdough so i'm like hey brian do you want to have a grilled cheese sandwich I'll put a sausage patty in the grilled cheese and grill onions and peppers. And then we both had one and I'd already had Mexican food and ice cream and the whole nine. Yeah. So I had that. And then I tried to go to sleep and I was like freaking out in the bed. And he's like, get away from them. All. I was like losing my mind. And I'm like, I don't know what to do. I'm like, Oh my God, we don't have any chamomile tea. And I was like, okay, breathe with me. So I'm like, and then I was just super annoying. I was annoying and annoyed. And then this morning, I just decided I didn't have anything bad today except for the popcorn. So there, there you have it. I was like scared to have anything else. I'm like, I just didn't like feeling like that. And I just really yeah. cherish my sleep. And just like when you're, you're flipping out and your legs are spazzing, you just yeah. have to run around the block, but you know you're not gonna. Right. <laughs> It was, yeah. yeah. So there's that. And anyway, yeah, I'm excited about the sugar. I've always checked my, I read all the um, ingredients and it is true. They're getting smaller and smaller. So you got to bring the magnifying glass. I can't, you know? I have to like put my glasses on. I there's, still can't see it. So I use my magnifying yeah. glass on my phone. And half the time I'm really not buying stuff that is going to, I'm usually just buying basic, I mean, like stuff for what it is and instead of like sauces yeah. except i you know uh, and and i realize that it, uh, all of my favorite uh salad dressings have sugar all of them all yeah of every sugar pain yeah. in the ass sugar. it's so, such a drag and it's, so you know i i make my own salad dressing i, I know 
so much better. It's so much better. And you can make a gazillion different kinds. You know, you know yeah, we're all, I'm we're all going to save money too. Yeah. Because when you, when you make something from scratch, it's actually easier. I'm already almost saving money. Is, yeah, and almost everything is easier to make from scratch than looking at a box or a bag and following directions. Agree. I, I spend a million times better. I swear, Andy. I I know you said you're not a big cook, but you you're gonna end up loving it. It's it's so easy and it's fun and it tastes so good. It's easier. It usually takes less time and it's cheaper. And it'll be like a fun new thing that you guys do together. Cool. Um. All right. It's so, all about lasting change, Andy. Yeah. Yeah. Now you'll become a cook and that'll be a long lasting change. <laughs> Very good. And honestly, every single time I go out to dinner, I'm like, so I, I like have memories or like a town that I've been to a long time and I'll think, oh, I'm so excited to go get this at this place. And I, I'm disappointed like every single time. I'm like, I just want to stay home and cook myself because it always tastes so much better. <coughs> I don't know. Yeah. So, I agree. I agree. Like even honestly, Mexican food. I'm sorry, but mine's way better. <laughs> I know. That's how I feel now. Share this it's recipe. A long time though. <laughs> it, yeah, like enchiladas, I... You can make them um, healthy yeah. um, and yummy. Not like I'm not. I haven't into, figured that out yet. Yeah, I'm not into like bland, gross flavors. It's, it's oh, like, not. Uh, I, or I'm just not into not super yummy. Yeah, how about it? It's got to be good. And it's yummy. all about spices. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's where I, Paula is going to. Like, she's going to amaze us, right, Paula? Like, I want to know. Spices and herbs. And so grow, I, you know, I mean, even if you have spices and fresh herbs, and they're expensive in the store, but you can do fresh, fresh herbs in a, in a garden or even a, just a box, even if it's inside your house. And they're amazing. It's just really, the, the difference is amazing. Yep, absolutely. I agree. And it is so easy. You can buy little kits that you can stick in your window and just water it for a while and just pick your herbs off of. But you use yeah, those. Yeah, and I'll, I'll post a catalog that only does uh, non-GMO foods. Mm -hmm. And so if you want to buy seeds, and they're not expensive, you can get small packages. You don't have to do bulk. I have lemon thyme and chives and oregano and, of course, rosemary and two different kinds of sage and I use all that fresh stuff all the time because it just tastes so good. Well too like Andy um, a lot of like oh, like uh, oregano and rosemary and thyme those are perennials so they're going to be there like once you plant them they're going to be there all the time and they're just going to get bigger right. and they'll just be there. Like for and and basil is something you have to plant every time. But I learned a really awesome trick. If 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 we have a moment, um, Melanie. Yes. So Sandy taught me this, and for years I was just pinching off the flower buds and throwing them away, and then taking the leaves. And she's like, "What are you doing?" And and so I'm like, "What?" And she goes, "Pinch those. They're like the bud. Like I don't know if any of you smoke, Before but it's like." the bud of the plant. It's the most potent thing and you pinch it's them all before off. it goes to flower. What? Oh yeah. Well, you know, even if they have flowers, I know. you can still do it. I do it anyway. But I you do. just pinch them up and then they make it bush out. Anyway, the if each time you pinch those buds off, do you know what I'm talking about? Have you grown basil before? Yeah, totally. I know exactly. Um, Andy, if you, uh, well, I'm just saying to Andy, oh, anyway, we'll talk about it. But all those buds, you hold them off to the side and then they dry and then you just put them in a jar and that's the stuff that you want in your spaghetti sauce. The leaves really don't, they're not as potent. That's yeah. what you make pesto out of. Basil. The buds are the, the ticket. Yeah, the but buds. if you've got the plant, you're going to use all of it anyway. Yeah, you are. Yeah. But I'm just saying the buds are the, uh, you can just have that during the winter. 
when you don't so you have any basil. Them, you just dry them. And yeah, then, I just throw them in a bowl, and then when I, they're dry, I, I throw them in a green, yeah, like, like a regular green that you'd put on a window, a small one. And I just put them on them. And now they sell these. Uh, they're like herb dryers, right? And so it's like, do you remember those round things the kids used to hang from their walls and or their ceilings and they put shoes and things in them? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Like that, but you you put your herbs in there. Um, but you don't need that. You know, all you need is a little screen and you just throw them on there and, and you're good to go. And well, see, S Sandy's got like a whole, she grows like a million basil plants. So she's got to have a screen. I have two basil plants. I throw them in a bowl and in like a week they're dry. The bowl's just open. I mean, it's whatever, you know. A, she's got a screen because she's got to have a screen. I have a whole here that has like five different. Yeah. yeah you're yeah. you're, you're I professional. Love I love basil. <laughs> mm. And if you like, Thai basil, um, oh. Thai basil will reseed itself. It is the and best. So oh. puppies, hi. You will always have it. Once you have one plant, you will you will always have it because it reseeds oh. itself. I do Thai basil with really quick. Just thinking of that, the the coconut is an element. So you can have coconut milk throughout this entire thing. Yeah through the entire thing. Yeah, it doesn't so have sugar in it. I do um, Thai basil and the lemongrass and the coconut milk. Like I make some yummy soups with that. And Oh my God. I want recipe. My daughter mm -hmm. actually gave it. Yeah. Like my daughter's the one that gives me all these recipes. She comes up with all of them. She's like, she's just magic like that. <laughs> She likes to experiment. That's she why. does. It, she's, and her grandma, Rich's mom, they cook together a lot and they come up with the most amazing things. So I get to, I get to be the beneficiary. Mm -hmm. She gets to promise. Yeah, yeah, I'm lucky. So yeah, I'll definitely share everything that Morgan's made because she's genius. And thank you guys for everybody giving their inputs too. Just keep them coming on Facebook because I need some new recipes too. <laughs> For sure. So is everybody still really trying to, I mean, are you trusting Eric and realizing that just put your faith in him and do what he tells you to do. And even though you're frustrated sometimes and you, there's going to be times where some of us are cranky and we have to lift each other up and times where we're frustrated or, you know, re rejoicing or whatever, but um, I just hope that you guys, that Eric has earned your trust, that that you have faith in Wild Fit, and that you really, really follow it and and do everything. Don't forget your breathing. Don't forget your water. Don't forget. So far, I think he's a pretty smart man because he's worked so far. And I'm still waiting. I'm so sorry, Andy. I like this. I, I don't know what to say. He has not responded, but I guarantee, I know that he will. And I don't want to make excuses, but I know he, like, this right now is insane. But it's, it's he will okay. respond. I know he will. But okay. anyway, from what you've seen and learned from him and the logic that he has expressed, if you put your trust in him, just seriously follow it don't you everybody can make an excuse and say i was too full i didn't drink enough water or you know I, whatever it is if you give this to yourself and just really really give it a hundred percent and make yourself do the most important things you know you should never feel hungry and once you get off the sugar you're not going to crave food as much you're not going to be, your taste buds are going to change. Everything's going to feel different. So the fruit helps you. It makes it so much easier to get off of the sugar. You're not going to have this cravings. So if you follow the fruit part, it you still might have the pull and you're going to have to use the skills that you've learned in the last two weeks, but it's going to be a heck of a lot easier. And the more you do it, the easier it is. And the more, and once the, those that sugar is out of you, you're not going to be 
craving it. You're not, you're just not going to. How long do the cravings or how long does the addiction to sugar last? How long does it take to get off the sugar? You know? I think, you know, it's varies for, for different people. Um, do you have a guesstimate? I think it's like four days average ish. I'm pretty sure. And I'll double check that. But, um, I I don't know. I'll double check that. Let me I, that. I'm just curious. It's not it's not a big deal. I'll find I out think you're right, but Melanie. It is it, the, you you can people if they especially if they go cold turkey, it could be like a crash. Yeah, and that's that's days. yeah. And we're we're not going 100 percent cold turkey. Yeah. We're doing, but the the you know you're still gonna get sugar in your bread and your you know, all, all those, those kind of carbs, you're going to get it in other places too. And, you know, just eating the fruit in the morning is, is like I said before, it's kind of like the methadone to the heroin. It, it, it weans you off of that, that sh refined sugar. I guess, I guess we wouldn't know yet because um, because the fruit is up and all that. So it'll be an easier transition and it's not a matter of how many days. Right. I just exactly. And it's almost, you know, to when it, it, you're almost to the point where you, you're just like how you are right now with all that other food that you want to get out. You're just sick and tired of it. So you're eating so much fruit. You're just like, Oh, I don't want any more sweet, you know? Right. You're, you're I mean, Sandy, you're not as much, but you're you're kind of compensating because you're really taking in the. I need more fruit than I normally do. Yeah, that's that's. Yeah. I mean, as long as you're comfortable with it, and you're whoever's helping you monitor yourself is comfortable with it, I think it's great. Um, but you're getting a lot. You know, are you feeling better about veggies? Didn't you say that you weren't? It was hard for you to have the veggies. But um, you no, know, I'm feeling really great about it. I'm actually eating, like, um, when I sit down to eat dinner, I let's say we're having rice, chicken, and cauliflower. My plate is half cauliflower. Oh, so you're, because did, didn't you, didn't you say before that you were I the did have, I, I didn't eat a lot of vegetables, but I'm wanting more vegetables. Oh, great. And, and. and Eric told us to. So. Right, exactly. So good for you. Because, you know, sometimes we say we don't like vegetables, even though we know that we're supposed to be doing it, but we'll still find an excuse. I love it. raw vegetables. So good for the, you. The drink to me is delicious. Well, I was going to say also, you're compensating with that drink too. So, you know, if you are struggling eating a lot of vegetables on your plate, that's preferable. But if it's going to be the difference if you're not eating those and doing it in the appetizer, absolutely just go have another appetizer with. But you know, we all have, we all have vegetables we love, but I think they're fruits like avocado. avocado I love, but aren't those fruit? Well, in Wild Fit, we more consider them vegetables. Thank you because I do. Yeah. I mean, yes, technically they are fruit, but they're always going to be in wild fit. You're never going to get avocados taken out, ever. Good. <laughs> and the coconut, too, which is, you know, it's sweet, but you can have the coconut. I mean, so you... Can we, sorry? Can we, have, can we have actual coconut or just coconut water? You can have coconut. You can have coconut milk. You can have coconut. You just, if you go get coconut, you can't, you have to make sure there's no added sugar. Like if you get the dried, most of that has added sugar. Even if on the package it says it doesn't, or it, it's misleading on the package, every time turn it around and read every single label you eat, everything you put in your mouth now, you need to read the label. Everything. Well, I found, because I went to Trader Joe's and I kind of went crazy. They had frozen coconut chunks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And okay. And I, I, I'm fairly certain there it's just coconut as the only it ingredient. Is. 
like and there's chunks of coconut. Yeah. I have them in my freezer. Yeah. Yes, yes, you can yes. have yeah. you can uh, you can have it, but more like you can't just eat a bunch of coconut all yes. the time. But you can definitely have it. Like if you're using it in a recipe, or if you want to use the coconut milk for some soup, absolutely. Well, I was thinking of putting like one or two chunks in the alkajizer. Is that okay or no? You know what? It doesn't turn out really well because that's what I bought. You're, it's actual like you're putting a big frozen nut in there. So yeah. it's kind of, I mean, it comes, It well, you can try it. It's just like there's, um, there's weird, I don't, I don't know. Maybe they don't want you to. Check because I don't think we were supposed to put coconut even on our fruit salad. That okay. I'm, I'm pretty right. sure, so maybe. Because maybe. doesn't it go into the nut? It's like a nut. It's supposed to be like yeah, once so you thought, yeah. I think you need to wait it's a nut. after you're off fruit, you can have the coconut, but. Okay. Like if you have it in the afternoon after you're done eating your fruit. Like it's like you're eating almonds or, or yeah. Brazil nuts or something. Yeah, it's a nut. It's just I frozen. used to always like grate it on top of, or have it on top of my fruit salad and I couldn't do that. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but Andy, it's not fresh coconut. What was that? Have you ever had fresh coconut juice? Like where they cut one open? No. Yeah. It is the best thing ever. <laughs> okay. And you know what? They're only like three bucks or something. You could go buy one. They're pretty fun. You just um, get a screwdriver and ha hammer it. Peel a hole. Three I'll let Jed do that. I'll have Jed do that, and then him and I will drink it out of the coconut. But but make sure <clears throat> make sure it's a fresh one because you know the dried one. That's the thing. It, it, they're they're like they have the white on the out. Okay, yeah, so not the, the brown hairy. ones are already dry. Yeah, the hairy ones are already dried out. You're just gonna get the nut meat. That gotcha. way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is so the best I them, ever. I just need to remember what I see them eating on Survivor is what I want to do. Right. <laughs> and it's actually, yeah, you get like, it ends up being kind of a fun, entertaining thing opening it together. <laughs> cool. I'll have to give it a try. I'm like open, I'm open for anything, so I'll totally give it a try. That's I awesome. use a power deal. <laughs> oh, Paula, that's brilliant. Yes. That's wonderful. I use a power drill, and I, I use a bit the size of the straw I'm going to stick in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it. it the best? It is. Oh, you guys are making me miss California now. Okay. <laughs> oh, well. All right. So does anybody else want to share anything or, or ask any yeah, questions? Yeah, I do. I found something really helpful for me when I start thinking I want to eat a bunch of different things is that I just go through those six hungers and, and I do that before I'm making a choice and it's really it. been helpful. That's awesome. That's you. So and by the time I go through it, sometimes I don't even want whatever I was thinking I wanted. It's just kind of almost force a habit, you know? If you just stop and think for a minute and distract yourself even too. you get out of the minute out of that moment of exactly talking yourself into it that's great i love it and, and i'm gonna print that out and hang it on my fridge paula because that's a great idea yeah, I think that's great yeah i think that's great that's what i did with it andy wanted andy wanted to say something what is I, I think she raised her hand I did. Um, first of all, I'm sorry I couldn't make the meeting yesterday, but I appreciate that you guys started the meeting talking about me. Um, but, and I'm looking at you, Paula, on my, or Sandy, on my screen, um, directly to you. Um, thank you for sharing about what happened to your daughter. It um, moved me to tears watching the video this morning. Um, I know we don't know each other. And I, I can only imagine, I, I can't imagine how personal that was for you to share with strangers. And I guess my heart absolutely goes out to you. I volunteered for hospice. I volunteered for a lot of programs that have dealt with grief and survivors. And just know my heart absolutely goes out to you. And I can't thank you enough for sharing that with us. Thank you. 
You know, Corey's so wonderful that when she asked me, I, I, I wanted to tell her because he's such a wonderful person. And, and I appreciate all of you. I really do. And I'm probably just like, I mean, to be honest with you, I'm in super denial. And I mean, that doesn't mean I'm not in a nightmare half the time I am, but I live a lot in denial. But thank you for saying something to me about it. I appreciate it. You've been on my mind all day and I just uh, felt I needed to say something because I, yeah. You know, I don't think there's a person in this group that I don't already love. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I know, I feel the same way. Yeah. You all are really special people. Right back at you, Melanie. <laughs> and thank you. Yes. Uh, thank you, guys. I mean, this is life changing for me, absolutely. And I couldn't have been more lucky to have such an awesome group of people that, you know, help guide me through learning and this whole experience. So thank you, guys. Sometimes people just come together at the right time. Yeah. That's how I feel, too. Mm -hmm. And I yeah. feel the same yeah. way that aren't here tonight too. Yes. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. <sighs> well, what a great way to end our two weeks and start our new lives, right? So I'm just curious, are you, who's jumping in tomorrow? Who's, does anyone have any plans? Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna start off on this because I was like, yes, buffer zone, I'm ready. I can cut this out, whatever. And this afternoon, I was like, let's go to the buffet. Like, <laughs> I went from like, I'm ready to go to like, ooh, we have four buffets within like a five mile radius because I live by the casinos out here. And I'm like, oh, I could get steak and fried shrimp and every kind of dessert I want and this and that and whatever. And I told my husband, he goes, oh, hell no. And I'm like, okay, can we just go out for dinner then? So, I, and I'm wavering and I'm doing like Paula where I want to start going through my checklist of, what is this feeling? What it, why, whatever. Yeah. But um, so I thought it was okay. Then I went the other pendulum way and now I'm going to come back to center and I'm going to, I'm going to focus. I think that's, per I, you know, and that's the perfect answer. Whatever your answer is, is the perfect answer. I'm getting chocolate mousse tonight with whipped cream on top from Nugget. And then I'm starting tomorrow morning. Good for you. <laughs> That and means by your house area. <laughs> My phone died. Sorry. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, and you guys were like frozen. So I didn't mean to leave. So I had to run in my bedroom and plug my phone in. I'm so I'm just taking out. Are you, what's your plan? Are you starting tomorrow or? Taking oh, no, I am um, starting like, um, yeah, tomorrow. Because <laughs> as far as the sugar goes. Yeah. If you guys have, I'm good. Uh, Andy, do you need help tonight with a couple recipes or wait, um, are you? No, I actually already have plans. I, I already checked like a few of the Trader Joe things I got. Like I got a spaghetti sauce and it didn't, it's they're organic. It has no sugar. Okay. Um, I'm going to keep it really simple. I'm going to do like, you know, chicken breast and, and, you know, vegetables. And I have um, some salmon that I got too. So I'm going to keep it very, very simple. And then, then you guys are going to give me a bunch of recipes. Yeah, well, let's try to um, start out with some easy recipes. If you think of any like simple stuff that you want to share that would be easy to make from scratch that you can't get without sugar in it, please share it. And, and I'm big on freezing. Is freezing okay? Like I'm big Absolutely. on. Okay. Yeah, you can remake, and I mean, I will make a big soup, and yeah, and. Keep yeah. it in the fridge and like I'll make I have this go-to kale soup I'll share with you that I make all the time and it's my go-to if I'm hungry I'll just go eat that it's hot and warm and filling and 
you know? Good. So I'll definitely share that. Um, and all of you, I know you'll share too. <laughs> And keep doing, keep following everything, your water, your breathing, all of it. Follow it all. All right, you guys, have a have great, weekend. great weekend. I can't wait to talk to you on Monday. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Bye, y'all. Good night, everyone. Good night. Bye. Good night.